Hey guys, so since the school year has started, you guys have been asking me to, like to show like what I wear to school for reference. Me and my sister, we did do a video um what we are wearing, planning to like outfits for school, like what we're planning to wear to school. So you guys can watch this video, that video after this one. But ever since I started going to this new school, obviously I've seen what other people wear and my styles have kind of merged together. Like my style has slightly changed, not by a lot. So my style is a little bit different and I still have some stuff that I just got that's new and also stuff I haven't worn that I can now wear to school since it's getting colder. You guys can obviously get inspiration from this video. This is not only what I wear, but what you can wear too. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that little notification bell to be a part of Gen E. And now let's get into the video. Also comment down below if you want Evelyn to do this video. Cause right now she's doing her homework, but she can do this video too. So the first outfit is this one. Now obviously with dress codes and stuff, this can definitely be out of out of the way like you can't wear this to school because obviously the skirt and then the top but for my school we have no dress code my school my lower campus at least it's seventh to ninth grade so you see high school is what they were too if you don't like this outfit you don't have to have it i'm just showing you guys what i wear so this outfit this is from love shack fancy the cardigan um i got this out of spatique in malibu and they had a sale for our 4th of July, I think. So, yeah, I got this. This is from Aerie. They're right now also having a sale on those skirts. Last time I checked, instead of, like, 50 it's, like, $20. They have a really good sale right now. And I'm not wearing any shoes for this outfit, but for other outfits, I do have shoes. Um, for this one, last time I wore, I wore my Converse, my zebra ones, which are going to be shown soon if you have a stricter dress code you can also put a tank top or just a shirt under this and just use this as a jacket um i've seen people do that with this and another hoodie that i'm going to be showing in a second like for another outfit so yeah let's move on to another outfit so this is the next outfit so i am just wearing the hoodie right now i was gonna put a shirt under this but I'm showing like this because you can really wear any shirt with these. So these are from Aviator Nation. And then this is from Urban Outfitters. Obviously, it's like huge. It goes down to your knees. And then the shoes, they're Nike, but they are, um, they don't sell them on the website. So I got these ones off of Go on a size six and a half. And I recommend if you're going to buy these, you should size up because you can have these for a very long time and resell them after. I don't know if I'm going to resell mine, but you know, don't mind that. Somebody decide to be loud these which i made with my friend and my sister like the other day so yeah that's this outfit it's actually really comfortable i haven't worn these to school yet but i definitely can i'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow because it's getting really cold it's getting like 50 degrees in the morning which is probably nothing for some of you guys watching this but for california it's it's kind of cold so this one um it's a lot more simple so the shoes these ones they do sell at the store i get mine off of goat but when we went to nike they were also in store and they have a good realtor price compared to like the other jordans that aren't in the store so yeah, these are really nice. Also, they're like corduroy. So the leggings are Lululemon, but you can also get black leggings anywhere for, you know, a good price. And the shirt is Lululemon, but again, it's just like a random shirt. And this is from um, a store, an online store. Um, I think it's called Stack by Susie, I think. But they also, you can get them from any brand. Also, Revolve, if you just look at their jewelry, you can find a lot of necklaces like this. And yeah, so that's this outfit. And if I was to wear this to school, I'd definitely bring a hoodie with it. So here's the next outfit. So um, the shoes are really dirty, but like I don't want to wash them because they're already tight and then it's going to be tighter. But at the same time, they're just my school shoes. But yeah, so there's Zebra Converse platforms. You do the customized one with the platform Converse and then you can just make them all zebra. So yeah, those are those shoes. This uh, sweatpants are Aviator Donation, but you can also get other sweatpants from like other places like urban outfitters or um like small like online boutiques like there's a lot of them you can literally just like search up and then they like a lot of them show the top is brandy melville and then the jewelry is um, um another jewelry business online um i think it's like cara may like you have to search like shop cara may or something like that and then the link comes up and then for jewelry, um, it's the same bracelets. I just keep putting them on because they kind of seem to match every outfit, even though they were, also, they were only supposed to be for one outfit. But it's fine. So, yeah, that's the outfit. Also, I do wear jeans, um, but I did put jeans in the other video we did. So, I just thought I'd, like, put new pants this time. And also, I organized my closet so you guys can comment down below if you want to see our closet tour. All right, so this outfit. So, this one, obviously, with your dress code, this, shirt, this skirt is kind of short. 
but my school doesn't have a dress code, so I can get by with it. But it's not that short that, you know, it's, like, ridiculous. But, you know, it is kind of short for a skirt. But, yeah, so this skirt, it's from Love Shack Fancy. It's the first piece I've ever gotten from there. And I love it so much. It's, like, my favorite one I have. And then this is also Love Shack Fancy. It's a newer one. Um, it was a, kind of a surprise from my mom. Like, we went and I tried it on. And then she was like, okay, put it back around getting it. And then my sister was getting something. So we were, like, going to the chat register and stuff. And I was waiting. And she showed me the bag. And I was like, <gasps> But, yeah. So that's from Love Shack Fancy. This is the same necklace from the last outfit. And, yeah, my mom told me to turn around. So that's the back of the sweater. And then um, the shoes are Converse. I'm not 100% sure if they sell them anymore. Because last time I saw them on the Converse website, they were on sale. Even though I didn't get them from the Converse website because they didn't have my size. But I did get mine from Farfetch. Okay, so here's the next outfit. So this top is from Hollister and this skirt is from Lab Shack Fancy. Um, I got it at a store in Brentwood, though. It was called Ever After. In case you can't find it on, their, on the Love Shack Fancy website, that's where I got it. And then the shoes are Nike. They um, are the Blazers 77, I think. And then the necklace and the bracelet, they're Tiffany's, but they're vintage. So you probably can get them for resellers. But I don't know if they still sell them. But you might be able to get them from resellers. And yeah, so that's all of my outfits. Well, not all of them, but you know, some of the outfits that I decided to show you guys that I wear to school. Don't forget to comment down below if you want Evelyn to do this video and if you want a closet tour. And if you have any questions on any of the pieces, just comment down below or on our Instagram. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Please subscribe and bye.